Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to share with you one of my biggest failure in life that I've experienced. Today when I came here and I was just searching on the internet that, okay, can I find someone that who has never failed in life? So I tried a lot, maybe for five or six minutes, I was just searching, but I just faced with zero result. I couldn't find anyone. I think 100% of startups or business owners or entrepreneurs, they are facing or experiencing failure. So there is almost no business in life who didn't experience failure. Probably if there is, so please share with me. Please comment below what are the businesses that never experienced failure? Or who is the one who never experienced failure? I think it's really difficult to find someone who never experienced failure if you're starting a business or doing something in life. Failure is part of your success. Okay, I'm not going to go to the like encouragement or motivation stories, but uh, let me share with you one of my biggest failures in life. I was in fashion industry for seven years and after seven years I felt that okay, this is not my business and I have to leave out. And then I exited the market. And behind this failure, there are three main reasons that I felt. Okay, number one reason, that is that I was not passionate about the business. Because when I entered that business, I was only thinking of making money from that business because I I was really financially in need and I was only thinking to make some money to just help myself out. I was not really thinking about how to serve other people better because I didn't know that uh, what are the basic strategies that I can just go along with my business to just grow in the market or uh, attract more customers. That's why I just failed. Not having passion about a business is creating a lot of other problems. Then finally, that ends with uh, failure. That was the number one reason. And number two reason was that I was not able to go along with the trend. In fashion industry, the design is changing too often. And if you're late, you're, you will be outdated. So you have to go along with the design, with the, the trending. So that was the number two reason, that I couldn't go along with the trend. So I had to leave the market. The third reason, which is very important for me and for every business, is not just in fashion industry, but in most industries, this, is, this can be the biggest problem. I was not financially stable to do some marketing or maybe R&D, as well as maybe advertising. When I wanted to advertise or maybe sponsor some like a local uh, programs or maybe local like celebrities, I was not able. Other like my competitors, local competitors, they were trying to sponsor a small group or a small band or maybe some local celebrities to just introduce their, their brand or quality through them. But I was not able because I had no money and I was thinking of like, where should I get the money? And I was, or sometimes I was thinking, okay, that why I should spend, it's okay if people buy, just come and buy, if not, that's, it. that's okay. These kind of things are really, really kind of big problem. A lot of business owners, when they are starting a business, they are thinking of just creating some money, just making some money. They are, they are not, they don't like to, of course, work for other companies, for other bosses, but they want to work for themselves, but of course not, not able to grow. Because if they have some other, like, some small problems, they just stick with that problem and they're thinking, okay, that how can I solve this problem? And um, they're just sticking with that kind of problem. They are not, like, thinking about the solutions. They're just trying to solve a small problem. When, I, when they, it's finished, then they just say, okay, that's enough. They're not thinking about expanding the business. They're not thinking about the growth. Why? Probably they don't have, they're not passionate about that business. Or maybe they are not really... Uh, going along with the trend. The third one is maybe they're they're not financially okay. If they get some money, they are not just uh, putting aside some amount to just spend for their business. And they think that okay, I get the money from the business, so I can spend for my personal like life or maybe for other leisure activities in life. That's creating problem. Whenever you get the money, so you have to put a small amount on, for your marketing or research or development strategies. This is the best strategy. Okay, and if you're trying to just enter fashion industry, so you have to think about these kind of problems. These kind of problems may come on your way. You should be able to avoid these kind of problems. After uh, maybe 
six or five years, I found out that, okay, fashion industry is one of the highest risk industry in the market. So before you enter this industry, you should be prepared well. Of course, some people, some coaches even, they are saying that, okay, you start the business, maybe on the way, on the process, you will learn. Of course, when they're giving you some motivational speeches, that's a different case. But when you start the business and when you just come to the real world, everything look different. So you will face with the reality. Those kind of motivational words doesn't work anymore. Of course, it's really good when you start a business. If you have passion about that business, slowly you will learn. You will find out, you'll figure out, okay, that what can I do next time? But of course, if you're not passionate and if you're not fast enough to go along with the trend and if you're not financially stable, then that is these three reasons are the biggest reason in, in the fashion industry. Financial independence is really good in any business. Okay, guys, please comment below. What are the reasons behind your failure? And before I end up, I request you to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel that you can watch monthly videos and see you in the next video.